Hello, welcome PBA LBC bowlers. Once again, my name is Neil Strummel. I'm the PBA Director of Rules and Equipment, and I'm joined again by Mitchell Shumway of Bowlers Mart Pro Shop right here at Bolero Wauwatosa. Today, we're going to talk about wrists and wrist supports, wrist guards. So, Mitchell, what would you say is a is the time that people first get into using a wrist support and why? A couple times. Um, if you get a brand new bowler in and you need to teach them some of the fundamentals and the basics and they're having issues putting the ball in their hand and releasing it the right way because their wrist isn't stabilized or in the right position, one of these can help them learn where their hand should be and how it should be. Um, other options or other scenarios would be when you've got bowlers with either really, really weak or small wrists or any wrist or hand issues where they have an issue supporting the ball or the ball's weight. These will definitely help out in supporting that. All right. So if, if you need to, you know, have a teaching tool, something that's going to help you get some consistency or get the right feel, I could see where that would be, um, a good benefit. So if you need extra support, for the wrist, because you have wrist issues or problems, this helps you bowl every week. You know, we're all for that. If, uh, if you have hard plastic or metal in it, you can use it in league or on the regional tour, the PBA 50 tour, the youth tour. However, the national tour is the place you can't use a wrist support that has any kind of hard plastic or metal in it. Um, but you could use like a golf glove or a glove that doesn't have any, you know, metal or hard plastic or a wrist support um, or tape. Those are acceptable on the national tour. Everything else is, is good for your league play. And we hope that helps answer questions that you might have about wrist supports. And I hope that everybody continues to support our sport. Thank you.